Hello volleyball fans, I'm London Poise and I'm Alita Perosi. We are also here with Kayla Gerbis, Logan Skirmerhorn, Maggie Tauber behind the camera. We are broadcasting live in the John Carroll gym ready to watch the John Carroll Patriots in their battle against the Hartford Tech Cobras. Welcome to Senior Night at John Carroll. John Carroll's coming in today with a 5-11 record in the A Conference, and Hartford Tech is coming with a 4-8 record. The Patriots will be led by their captains, Mike Enzer and Garrett McNulty. On the opposing team, Hartford Tech's captains, Reed Cook and Gabe Schaefer, are trying to lead the Cobras to a victory here today. Both teams have done a great job all season, and it'll be a tough match. The Patriots led by their head coach, Matthew Blair, and... 
Don Dugan and Tucker Snow with Joe Scheid for JV coming to support. Coach Blair doesn't have a huge volleyball background, but he coached lacrosse for John Carroll for many years. When he was asked by the athletic director to help him with volleyball, he, gracio he graciously agreed and is now the head coach. Don Dugan, Coach Don Dugan wor helps to work on strategies for the team, while Coach Snow focuses on rotations and lineups. As for the Cobras, they are led by their coach Selby, who it's actually his first time coaching high school volleyball. This year he wasn't looking for a head coaching position, but he was chosen and he's a big help to the program at Harford Tech. He said that a big challenge he has faced this year is that most of his experience comes from playing volleyball, not coaching. As for captains, on the Patriots, uh, their captains are Garrett McNulty and Tony Petro, who are seniors that were honored here today. And they're a great, both great assets to John Carroll in the back row. Micah Enns are also one of the captains for the Patriots, which has been shown to be a great leader. As for Hartford Tech, their captains Gabe Schaefer and Reed Cook have made great contributions to the team. Coach Selby has said that he's always been a that both of them have always been a leader and both know their strengths and weaknesses and can help their teammates a lot. Specifically, Coach Selby said that Reed Cook can just do it and he's a great help to the team because he knows when he's doing good and when he's doing bad and he knows his strengths and weaknesses during the games. Hopefully both these teams can live up to their expectations in this match today. Uh, Reed, Reed Cook also doesn't let his motions affect his playing. And Gabe Schaefer also is a very great help with the Harford Tech JV volleyball team and never approaches with negativity. As it is senior night tonight in the John Carroll gym, next year there will be many seniors lost from the varsity volleyball team. Noah Milliron, for example, is one of the Patriots' top offensive players, and he will not be here to help the Patriots next year. Micah Enzer is a great leader for the Patriots, keeping them in check during their game. And Garrett and Tony are very great back row players. Mert Biuthos also helps with his great height. As for Chuck and Mert, they are both new senior players this year and had a late start to the season since they had other sports to go to. They did not let this late start stop them, though. They have made great improvement throughout this whole season and have been valuable to the team. Both teams going to wish each other good luck before their match. Starters going out for both teams. On Hartford Tech's side, number 20, 24, Gabe Schaefer, captain. Number 8, Jax Carl, middle hitter. Uh, number 4, number four, Tommy Rambo. Number 18, Reed Cook. Number 11, Ethan Wilkinson. And number five, Kevin Peters, are starting for the Cobras today. Starting for the Patriots, we have Mark Dent, Luke Wentworth, Tony Pietro, Noah Milliron, Garrett McNulty, and Sam Mink. Both teams looking to come out here for a win today. Harford Tech with the first serve. Great serve by Harford Tech and pass by Garrett McNulty. Luke Wentworth, a point to the Patriots. Kevin Peters goes for the ball, but the Patriots are able to get the point. Score now 1-0. Patriots trying to get an early lead. Noah Miller getting ready to serve for the Patriots. Great jump serve by Miller earning an ace for the Patriots. Once again for the Cobras, Ethan Wilkinson goes for the dive but is unable to get to the ball, giving the Patriots a 2 to nothing lead. No Miller and getting ready for a serve. And the serve goes over. Great save by the Cobras. Nice hustle by Tony Pietro on the Patriots. And number eight, Jax Carl hitting it over the net. John Carroll not expecting it. Great rally there. Cobra is looking to 
Cobras looking to tie it up. Score now two to one. Number 24 for the Cobras serving. Great hustle by the Patriots, specifically Tony Pietro, senior. Luke Wentworth free balls it over the net, but unfortunately it hits the ceiling, counting as out of bounds. Gabe Schaefer coming up to serve again with the score now tied, two to two. Great serve by lefty Gabe Schaefer. The Patriots are not expecting it to go over after it hit the net. Cobras taking a lead of now three to two, trying to pull ahead. Great hustle by Garrett McNulty and free ball over the net by Michael Tamburino. Great hustle by both teams here. Good communication between the Patriots as the ball came over the net. Both teams setting up for hits. Great hustle once again by both teams. A nice backer hit by Noah Milliron. Number four hits it over for the Cobras. Garrett Minolti sets it to Michael Tamburino and he hits it over the net. Great block by John Carroll and great hustle as they got the ball out of the ceiling. This is a great rally, don't you agree, Alita? Definitely, both teams are showing lots of athleticism and great communication. Great communication with John Carroll as the ball goes into the ceiling. And John Carroll gets the point after a nice block by Mark Deck. Well-deserved point for the Patriots there, although both teams did a great job during that rally. Luke Wentworth now coming up to serve with the score now tied three to three. Great serve by Luke Wentworth and great hustle by both teams. And number eight, Jax Carl hits it over with the Patriots not expecting it. Although not very far into the game, number eight, Jax Carl has shown great athleticism and a great valuable player for the Cobras. He seems like a great asset at the net, especially for blocking. Substitution going on, Jax Carl's going out and Sean Hooper going in. Great hustle by Tony Pietro with his hustle earning the Patriots another point. Score now tied up again, four to four. Garrett McNulty is coming up to serve. Excuse me, Micah Enzer will be coming up to serve. Nice serve by Micah Enzer, number 24. And number four, Tommy Rambo for the Cobras hits it out of bounds, giving John Carroll an easy point. John Carroll taking a slight lead now, just five to four. Micah Enzer serves it over, and the Cobras are unable to return it. Great, great swing and great serve by Micah Enzer. Sean Hooper goes for the ball, but it just glides over his fingers, gaining the Patriots a point, with a score now six to four. Micah Enza going to serve again. Great serve by Micah. And great hustle by the Cobras. Great attempted block by the Patriots, but the Cobras got it over past their fingers. Mark Bukos goes to block the ball, but it unfortunately get just around him, gaining the Cobras a point. Score now six to five, Patriots ahead. Tommy Rambo with the serve, and miscommunication between the Patriots, giving the Cobras another point. Michael Tamburino and Tony Pietro run into each other, tying the score up, now six to six. Tommy Rambo with the serve again. Great hustle by the Patriots to get the ball over. A nice hit by Michael Tamburino. A little miscommunication between the Cobras, but they get it over the net. And John Carroll unable to return the ball with a great unexpected hit by the Cobras. Score now seven to six, Cobras taking a lead. Throughout this game, the score has been very close the whole time, and these teams we can see have both have great skills in different locations, which have been helping them. Great hit by Mert for the Patriots. Number 11 hits it over, and John Carroll adjusts. Great hit by Michael Tamburino. And great hustle by number 11 for the Cobras, Ethan Wilkinson. Ethan hits it over the net. Tony Petro sets it for Michael Tamburino and a block by the Cobras. Garrett McNulty ready for the block and great back row hit by Noah Mellon getting the Patriots another point. Tommy Rambo going for the ball but he unfortunately hits it, hits it to the back where one of his teammates is unable to get to it. Point going to the Patriots, score now tied up again, seven to seven. Michael Tamburino with the serve. 
great serve by Michael Tamburino and great hustle by number 24, Gabe Schaefer. Another great hit by the Patriots, getting a great point. Patriots once again taking a slight lead of now just eight to seven. Michael Tamburino coming up with another serve. Patriots strong in their serves today. Both teams actually very strong. They've rarely hit it into the net, which is very good for volleyball. Definitely, it's really been helping both teams the whole game. And number five on the Cobras, Kevin Peters, tries to get it over the net, but unfortunately it goes out of bounds. But it was a nice attempt. Score now nine to seven, Patriots just two points ahead. The Cobras set it up. A nice hustle by both teams. And it was a great attempt by Tony Petro to dig the ball out of the net, but the Cobras get the point. Number 18, Reed Cook is coming up to serve now, trying to get the score tied up. It is currently nine to eight with the Patriots ahead. Great serve. And there was a set to No Miller, but it was too low, so he free balled it over the net. Number 24 hits it right into the block. But the block, unfortunately, puts it out of bounds. Although, although, that the, although the Cobras had some inconsistent coaching in the past, new coach, Coach Selby, has really been able to mold them into a great team, which works well together. Noah Millarn with the hit once again. Number five sets it to number 24. And it is in. It hit the line. The Patriots thought it was going out. A little bit of miscommunication, but great hustle. Score now 10 to 9. Cobra's just one point ahead. Great team with the serve. Great hustle by the Patriots, as always. And a little bit of miscommunication between the Patriots, giving the Cobras a point. Score now 11 to 9. Reed Cook coming up to serve again. Reed Cook with the serve. Hits it over. Nice pass by Micah Enzer. And great hustle by the Patriots to get the ball over the net. Great hustle by number five for the Cobras, Kevin Peters, an attempt to get the ball after it fell out of the ceiling, but he couldn't get there in time, giving the Patriots a point. Patriots refusing to let the Cobras stay too far ahead, and as now the Patriots are only one point behind, with a score of now 11 to 10. Garrick McNulty with the serve. Hits it over, nice hustle by the Cobras, and Noah Mellon with the block for the Patriots. Both teams have great players, all around the game. Garrick McNulty with the serve again. Score now tied up, 11 to 11. Nice serve by Garrett McNulty. Number four passes it. A push over the net. Tony Petro sets it to Milliron, and Milliron has a nice hard hit, and the Cobras are unable to return it. Milliron showing a lot of great assets for the team here, as last year he played club volleyball, which has really helped him improve this year in the Patriots season. Garrick Minolti with the serve again. Nice pass, number five sets it. And number five, Kevin Peters, unfortunately hits the ball twice when he went to set, giving the Patriots a point. Score now 13 to 11, Patriots trying to further their lead as Garrett McNulty serves again. Nice hustle by the Cobras to attempt to get the ball out of the net, especially number five, Kevin Peters. Garrett McNulty with a good run of serves here with the Patriots at a score of now 14 to 11. Cobras looking for a side out. Nice hustle by both teams. And unfortunately, the Cobras caught the Patriots off guard, giving the Cobras another point, trying to get back in the game. Cobras making sure they stay close with a score of now 14 to 12. Cobras only two points behind. Ethan Wilkinson coming up to serve. Michael Tamburino with the pass. Putting Petro. Sets it to Noah Mellon who hits it out of bounds. Great swing, but just needs to control his power a little bit. Ethan Wilkinson up with his second serve. Trying to tie it up. Jack's call coming in for the Cobras now. And number 11, Ethan Wilkinson, serves it into the ceiling, giving the Patriots a point. Mike ends are going out as Chuck Hafer goes in for the Patriots now. Tony Petro coming up to serve with the score at 15 to 13, Patriots two points ahead. Nice serve by Petro. 
Nice call for the ball by the Cobras. Patriots setting up. Nice hit by Noah Milliron. And great hustle by Ethan Wilkinson in an attempt to get to the ball, giving the Patriot a point. The ball Tommy Rambo had placed was just out of reach for Ethan Wilkinson, although he put great effort into trying to get there. Tony Petro coming up to serve for the Patriots again. Great hustle by number five for the Cobras. And a push over the net. And Tony Petro attempting to communicate with his teammates, but unfortunately they cannot get it over the net. Score of now 16 to 14. Cobras only two points behind as Kevin Peters serves. Set to Chuck Hafer, and he hits it out of bounds with a great swing. Kevin Peters coming up for another serve with a score of now 16 to 15. Cobra's looking to tie it up. Chuck Hafer, first year senior here, has shown great improvement throughout the season. Although it's only his first season playing, he is a great athlete all around has, and has been able to pick it up very quickly. Great communication among the Patriots as they adjust after the blocks by the Cobras. Great attempt by the Cobras and great blocks by number 24 and number 8. Chuck Hafer being very important throughout that whole rally there. Michael Tamburino going out as Sam Mink goes in for the Patriots. Noah Milliron coming up to serve with a score of now 17 to 15. Patriots two points ahead. Milliron with the jump serve and hits it into the net. He had a great swing on that. He just needs to control his power and get his arm up a little bit more. Gabe Schaefer, one of the captains for the Cobra, is serving now, trying to get it tied up. Great hustle by Tony Petro and great hit by Chuck Hafer for the Patriots. After an attempted tip by the Cobras, they cannot get it over the net. Patriots getting another point from that with the score now 18 to 16. Luke Wentworth serving for the Patriots. Merck going in for Garrett McNulty in the front row. Luke Wentworth with the serve and hits it into the net, giving the Cobras an easy point. Cobras only one point behind now, score of now 18 to 17. Both teams very close throughout the whole game. Number 16, Sean Hooper going to serve for the Cobras. Great serve by lefty, Sean Hooper. Great hit by the Patriots. And great attempted block by the Patriots, but unfortunately it goes between them and the net and they were unable to return it. Mert Biukos and Sam Mink were both there for the ball, but they unfortunately weren't able to get it. Score now tied up, 18 to 18. Sean Hooper with the serve, Tony Petro with the set, and great hit by Chuck Haver going against the block of number four, Tommy Rambo. Substitution on the Patriots side now as Chuck Hafer goes out and Micah Enzer goes in. Micah coming up to serve with a score of now 19 to 18. Patriots just one point ahead. Nice serve by Micah Enzer and great hustle by the Cobras. And number 11, Ethan Wilkinson attempting to free ball it over the net, but he could not get it over, giving the Patriots a point. Patriots score now 20 to 18, nearing the end of the set, hoping for a win. Nice serve by Micah Enzer, and the Cobras free ball it over the net. Tony Petro with the set to Sam Mink, and unfortunately, Tony Petro gets called for a lift on the ball, giving the Cobras a point. Score now 20 to 19, Cobras only one point behind, determined to stay close, and they still have a great chance of winning this set. Nice serve by the Cobras, and great back row hit by Noah Milliron. Ethan Wilkinson able to hit it over. Noah Milliron tips it over from the back row, catching the Cobras off guard. Score now 21 to 19. Patriots nearing winning the end of the set as Sam Mink comes up to serve. Sam is served by Sam Mink. Sam is one of the great players that the Patriots will be losing next year. Hopefully it doesn't affect the team too much. 
great save by the Cobras as it hit off their foot from Mill Irons hit. But unfortunately, they are unable to get it over the net. Another great serve by Sam Mink. The ball is over the net. Tony Petro sets it to the back row. And a great attempt by number 24, Gabe Schaefer on the Cobras. And the Patriots get the point. Score now 23 to 19. Patriots just two points away from winning the set. Truly determined, especially since it is their senior night and last game together. Sam Mink attempting a serve again, and he hits it into the net, but had a great run while he was out there. Score now 23 to 20. Substitution occurring on the Patriots side as Michael Tamburino goes in as Sam Mink goes out. Reed Cook coming up to serve for the Cobras. Nice serve and great pass by Micah Enzer and good communication in with the Patriots. Number five sets it and it is out of bounds. Barely the Patriots making a good call there. Score now 24 to 20. Patriots really hoping to get the point here and win the first set. Garrett McNulty getting ready to serve for the Patriots. Game point for the Patriots. Great serve by McNulty and great pass. Great communication between the Cobras as they work as a team. Number five sets it. And a great block by Tony Pichu and Luke Wentworth on the Patriots, but unfortunately it goes out of bounds. The swing from Gabe Schaefer was too hard and they cannot control it. Ethan Wilkinson coming up to serve for the Cobras. Jax Call goes in as Reed Cook goes out. Score now 24 to 21. Patriots one point away from winning the first set. Nice pass by Micah Enzer for the Patriots. And great hit by Noah Milliron. Great hustle by Ethan Wilkinson to get the ball over the net. And the Cobras hit it out of bounds, making this game for the Patriots winning the first set. Now coming into the booth is Jacob Freeland giving Alita a break. After this first set, the Cobras are probably work, going to work on their hitting and they're getting the ball over the net. Oh, no. The Cobras with a big focus of teamwork, according to Coach Selby, and he says that no one player improves, but the team improves as a whole. And there's no star players, but and they win and lose as a team. Hmm. Uh, here's some college commits. Five players have been interested in NCAA scholarships, and none are sports specific. That's for the Cobras, and as for their coach, Coach Jason Selby, he said that he graduated from North Hartford High School where he played volleyball during his senior year. He also played volleyball on the college level in Illinois on club teams. And he said most of his experience comes from playing the game and not coaching, meaning that he has had to come overcome boundaries this year as it's his first time coaching high school volleyball. Interested in theater too, the John Carroll School's award-winning theater department will be putting on wonderful productions of Music Man on Friday, November 8th at 7 p.m., Saturday, November 9th at 7 p.m., and Sunday, November 10th at 2 p.m. Both teams preparing to come out for their second set. Harford Tech getting ready to come out and hopefully win this set to get them equal to the Patriots, and the Patriots come, trying to come out as strong as they did during the first set. JC players walking out, ready to start the second part. John Carroll starters for the second set are Mark Dent, Mark Boikos, Jackson Coiner, 
Micah Enza, Max Snellenberg, and Noah Milliron. Garrett McNulty ready to sub in. As for the Cobras, their starters for the second set are number one, Blake Diem, number 23, Nick Sassenti, number 20, Justin Graff, number 22, Ryan Coate, number 12, Blake Brown, and number 21, Colin Palmer. Many players that we did not see during the first set here. John Carroll with the first serve here in the second set. Noah Melliron ready to serve. Great serve and great swing by Milliron, but unfortunately goes out of bounds. Good for Hartford Tech Cobras to get it started with the point. Hopefully trying to change for the second set. Number 20, Justin Graff coming in for the Cobras to serve. Serves it over. Great pass by Garrick McNulty and great attempt to tip by Jackson Coiner for the Patriots. Number 20 serves. Great serve and great hustle by Jackson Coiner. And Logan Tromley hits it from the back row over the net and gets the Patriots their first point in the second set. Nice hit. That's where this John Carroll team shines. Doing great with their hits this game. Alex Mink coming in for the Patriots in the front row. Great pass by number 12. And great hustle by number 20, Justin Graff, a setter, but unfortunately hits the ball twice. Jackson Coiner with the serve. Great pass by the Cobras to the outside hitter. And great hustle by John Carroll, but they could not get there in time. Great hit by the Cobras to keep them in this game. Actually taking the lead with that hit. Cobras with the serve. And great tip by Mark Dent. And great hustle by number one, Blake Diem by the Cobras. But he could not get there in time. Garrick McNulty coming up to serve for the Patriots. Great hustle by the Cobras, and great push by number 23, Nick Sassenti, but unfortunately the refs called it as a double. That's the second double for this set. Cobras gotta watch out for that. Garrick McNulty with the serve. Great pass by number 22, Ryan Coate. And a free ball by the Cobras over the net, and unfortunately it goes out of bounds, but great concept. The score is 5-3, John Carroll. Garrick McNulty with another serve, and unfortunately it goes into the net, giving the Cobras a point. Cobras making a substitution. Number 16, Sean Hooper going in for number 23, Nick Sassenti. Sean Hooper with the serve. Nice pass by Logan Trombley. Ooh. And great attempted hit by Mark Dent for the Patriots. Nice pass by Logan Trombley for the Patriots. And great tip by Mark Dent, giving the Patriots another one of their points. Substitution for John Carroll, Noah Milliron, going in for Logan Trombley in the front row. Mark Dent with the serve, and unfortunately, he was his timing was off, and he hit the ball right to the ground. Unlucky there. John Carroll's been pretty good with the serve so far, though. Number one, Blake Diem coming to serve for the Cobras. Nice serve for the Cobras. Great hustle by the Patriots. And great tip by Alex Mink, not giving the Cobras a chance to return the ball. The 
score now seven to six. John Carroll in the lead. Alex Mink with the serve for John Carroll. And he hits it out of bounds with a great swing, but a little too powerful. <laughs> Micah Enzer going in for Alex Mink in the back row. Number 12, Blake Brown serving for the Cobras. Great serve and great set to Noah Melline. Oh. That's where Noah Melline shines. He's had many hits like that, and he's gotten a lot of points for JC. You can really see how Noah Melline has improved with his playing club volleyball over the summer. Max Snellenberg with the serve for John Carroll. A little shorter than you would expect, but it gets over the net. And number 21 for the Cobras, Colin Palmer, has a great attempted hit, but hits it into the net. Patriots are doing a great job of keeping the lead in this game. Great hustle by the Cobras, getting the ball over the net, and also great hustle by Max Snellenberg for the Patriots, attempting to recover after the tip. Number 23, Nick Sassenti, coming in for number 16, Sean Hooper in the front row. Jackson Coiner sets it for the Patriots, and there's some miscommunication among hitters, giving the Cobras a point. Number 22, Ryan Coates serving for the Cobras, and he hits it into the net, giving the Patriots an easy point. Patriots up 10 to 9. Mark Dent coming in the front row for Tony Petro. Noah Milliron with the serve for the Patriots. Great jump serve. Nice pass by the Cobras. And great hustle for a back row hit by number one, Blake Diem. Had a great swing, but was a little too powerful. Noah Milliron with the serve for the Patriots. And he has a great swing, but his toss is a little too low and he hits it into the net. Substitution, Logan Trombley on for Noah Milliron. Great attempted serve by Justin Graff for the Cobras, but hits it into the net. Jackson Coiner serving for the Patriots. Jackson has shown great improvement as a setter this year on varsity as he was pulled up from JV last year. Travis Smith coming into the booth for Jacob. Jackson Coiner getting ready to serve again. A nice serve by Coiner and great hustle by the Cobras. A little bit of miscommunication between the Cobras but they free ball over the net. Great tip by Mark Dent, catching the Patriots off guard, and great recovery. And Mert Boykos unfortunately hits it out of bounds with a great concept for the Patriots. Yeah, it was a great rally there from both teams. Harf Attack now leading 13 to 11. Covers with the serve, and number 21, Colin Palmer serves it into the net, giving the Patriots an easy point. Garrett McNulty with the serve. Great serve by Garrett McNulty for the Patriots. Number 21 sets it to number 12, Blake Brown, and Blake Brown hits it into the antenna, giving the Patriots a point. Patriots are holding the lead well in this game. Garrett McNulty with another great serve. Set to number 12, Blake Brown. He hits it into the net giving the Patriots another point. Score is now 16 to 11. Gerg Nolte with another serve. Gerg Nolte's had great consistent serves today. Jackson Coiner sets it to Alex Mink. And, Ale and the Patriots get the point after the attempted block by the Cobras. Great run by the Patriots here, and that was a very powerful kill by Alex Mink. An another great attempted serve by Garrett McNulty. Almost went over the net. 
but after as many great serves, that shouldn't be too detrimental to the Patriots. Sean Hooper with the serve for the Cobras. Great serve, which gave the Cobras an ace, trying to get back into this game. Maybe this will spark a run for the Cobras. Number 16, Sean Hooper getting ready to serve again for the Cobas. Has also shown great consistency in his serves today and great power. Nice hustle and communication by the Patriots, getting the ball over the net. Great hustle by Jackson Corner after the tip by the Cobras. Great attempt by number one, Blake Diem, to get the ball over the net after an offset. Jackson Corner with two great hustle plays there to win the point for the Patriots. Mark Dent coming to serve for the Patriots. Great hustle to push the ball over the net for the Cobras. Great tip by Max Snellenberg giving the Patriots another point getting close to the end of the set. Jackson Corner is really playing well right now. Cobras with some great hustle to get the ball over a net. And Noah Miller and ready for the block. Score is now 20 to 13 Patriots. They only need five more points to win the set. Another great serve by Mark Dent. And great hustle by number one, Blake Diem, and attempting to get to the ball. Patriots looking to push four here to win the second set. A little bit of miscommunication between the Cobras, which ends up giving the Patriots a point. Patriots are looking really good in this set and look to take it. And it looks like a timeout by the Cobras. The Cobras looking to fix their communication problems here, hoping that they can get back in the game and win the set. No one play is improving for the Hartford Tech Cobras this year, but the team as a whole has improved a lot over the course of the year. Coach Selby really emphasizing their work with their teamwork here, not winning as a team, not winning as a single person, but as a team. Do you know of any donors of the school? All donors and sponsors are invited to the Black and Gold Gala on Saturday, November 16th, starting at 6.30 p.m. at the John Carroll School. Cobra's coming back in here and trying to come back in this set and set up to win a third set. Mark Deck coming back here to look to continue with his great consistent serves. And great attempt by number 16, Sean Hooper, in trying to get the ball up. Unfortunately, could not return it. Powerful ace there by Mark Dent. Way to get the hard serve coming out of the timeout. Mark Dent with the serve once again. Noah Milliron ready for the overpass, giving the Patriots another point. One point away from winning the second set. Score is 24 to 13. Mark Dent with another great hit. A miscommunication among the Cobras, making the Patriots win the second set. Patriots look take this game into the third set and hopefully they can close the game out. Alita Perosi coming back into the booth here for the third set in the game with the Patriots against the Cobras. What do you think the Cobras will work on, Alita? I think they're going to make sure to work on their communication as a team. Although they've made great improvement as one this whole season, which has been a key focus by Coach Selby. I agree. The Patriots are probably going to go out and talk about mostly, probably a little bit about communication as well, as communication is a big aspect to the game. The Patriots need to make sure that they don't get too headstrong about this and don't just go loose throughout the rest of this set. And on the other side, the Cobras need to make sure that these two first set wins don't start to defeat them and that they truly work hard in this third set. I agree. The Cobras definitely have the skill set to win, 
They just need to make sure they can communicate. Hey, Alita, I love your slides. Where did you get them? Thank you, London. I got them from the Patriots Corner, the school store. I might have to go get some, but the Patriots Corner sells more than slides, right? Yes, they sell sweatshirts, t-shirts, accessories, and more. Go buy some Patriot gear today. Speaking of Patriots, are you a middle schooler looking into high schools? The John Carroll Open House is no this Saturday, November 1st, from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. Come see the best school around. Overall throughout this whole season, coming to this last game here, the Patriots have, ha have done a lot of hard work, and it'll be tough trying to get back up from losing so many seniors. Yeah, Noah Milliron is a top offensive player, as you have seen today in this game. He has had some great kills and great blocks for the Patriots, earning them many of their points. Even first-year player Chuck Hafer is an extremely athletic player who has committed to West Virginia Wesleyan College for baseball. Although only his first year, he has made a lot of improvement and has been extremely valuable to the Patriots. Nearing the beginning of the third set, both teams are hyping up for the third set. The Patriots coming in, looking to win the third set. And the Cobras looking to come in and pull this to five sets to win the match. The Patriots really looking for this to be an extremely strong last set, possibly of this game, considering it might be their last set together as a team in general. The Patriots looking like they're switching their libero. Garrett McNulty switching with Max Snellenberg. Max Snellenberg now the Patriots libero for the third set. Luckily for both teams here, none of them have had to suffer any injuries throughout the season so far. Only the normal slight sprint, slight twists of ankles throughout practices, but nothing major. Both teams have been able to stay intact as one throughout the season. The Cobras are going to have the first serve during this set. Number 21, Colin Palmer. Cobras looking to win this set, hopefully getting them back into the game. Patriots looking to win this set so they can win the whole game overall. The Patriots adjusting as Garrett McNulty plays front row instead of Max Snellenberg. Max Snellenberg trying to adjust to his new libero position. Colin Palmer with the serve for the Cobras is a little too powerful, but a great swing, and it goes out of bounds, giving the John Carroll Patriots a point. Patriots gaining the first point for this set. A first substitution happening as Michael Tamburino goes in as Mert Bucos goes out. Michael Tamburino getting ready to serve for the Patriots. Great serve by Michael Tamburino and great hustle by the Cobras. Michael, Micah Enzer with the hit. Great communication between the Patriots as Cody Petro cannot get to the ball to set it. Great tip by the Cobras and a great hit by Garrett McNulty adjusting to his position very well. Great rally by both teams with the Patriots get the point. Nick Sassenti unable to get to the ball as it goes too close to the net. Michael Tamarino coming up with another serve as the score is 2-0, Patriots ahead. Great hustle by the Cobras getting the ball over the net. And great attempt to dig the ball out of the net by Luke Wentworth and Garrett McNulty, but the Cobras got the point. Score now 2-1, to one, Patriots ahead with Gabe Schaefer for the Cobras, one of the captains coming up to serve. Gabe Schaefer serves it into the net, but it was a great attempt and great swing. Substitution now happening happening on the Patriot side as Garrett McNulty goes out and Noah Milliron goes in. Noah Milliron will be coming up to serve. The score of now three to one. Patriots two points ahead. Noah Milliron showing great consistent serves today. Great serve, nice and low. A great dig by the Cobras. The Cobras with great communication today. 
great work at the net by Tony Petro, blocking and hitting. Great communication between the Patriots. Nice back row hit by number one for the Cobras. It was on the line, being in, giving the Cobras a point. On the Cobra side, a substitution is happening as Ethan Wilkinson goes in for number 23, Nick Sassenti. Number 11, Ethan Wilkinson with the attempted serve, but hits it to the net. Another substitution, substitution happening on the Patriots side as Sam Mink goes out as Chuck Hafer goes in and as Luke Wentworth goes out as Mark Dent goes in. Mark Dent will be coming up to serve as the score is now 4-2. Patriots still ahead. Mark Dent with the serve for the Patriots. Great hustle by the Cobras. Great attempt to get it over, but unfortunately they had to use four hits, which is not allowed in volleyball. Mark Dent with another serve as the score is now 5-2. Patriots gaining an early lead. Nice back row hit by Gabe Schaefer for the Cobras. And a little bit of miscommunication between the Patriots. Great block by Micah Enzer, intimidating the Cobras, unable to get the ball over the net. Mark Dent with some great serves right now, as the score is now 6-2. to two. Great serve by Mark Dent, giving the Patriots an ace, giving the Patriots another point. Mark Dent really determined to help the team out right now. With the score of now 7-2, Patriots having a five-point lead. Mark Dent having a strong serve game today. Unfortunately, this one goes out of bounds. Number 20, Justin Graff going in to serve for the Cobras. Score is now 7-3. Cobras looking to get their score back up near the Patriots. Great serve by Justin Graff giving the Cobras an ace. And another point. Justin Graff coming up with another serve as the score is now 7-4. to four. Cobra's just three points behind. Unfortunately, his serve goes into the net, though, gaining a point for the Patriots. Mert Boikos going in the front row for Michael Tamburino on the Patriots' side. Micah Enzer with the serve. And a back row hit by Gabe Schaefer for the Cobras. Communication by the Patriots is a little off, but they get it over the net, and it goes out of bounds. The score is now 8-5. to five. Patriots still ahead. Reed Cook for the Cobras coming up to serve. Reed Cook is one of the team's captains, and he can just do it. <laughs> Chuck Hafer with a great hit for the Patriots. Giving the Patriots another point, giving them a greater lead. Score now 9-5, to five. Patriots still ahead. Tony Pietro coming up to serve. Tony Pietro with a great serve for the Patriots. And the Cobras unfortunately pass it into the ceiling and are unable to get to the ball. Tony coming up with another serve as the score is now 10-5. to five. Patriots still ahead. Number 20. Justin Graff ready for the ball. And Chuck Haver and Mert Boikos ready for the ball to come over with the block. Tony coming up with another serve as the score is 11 to five. The Patriots have done a great job so far this set as they've been able to outsmart the Cobras in many ways, gaining them many points. Noah Melliron in the net and over the line giving the Cobras a point. Substitution happening on the Cobras side as number 11, e Ethan Wilkinson goes out. As number 23, Nick Sassenti goes in. Blake DM getting ready to serve for the Cobras, trying to get them back into the game. Score is now 11 to six. Patriots in the lead. Nice powerful serve by Blake DM, but unfortunately the ball did not go over the net. More substitutions happening on the Patriots side. As Luke Wentworth goes in, and Chuck Hafer, Mark Dent go out as Sam Mink also goes in. Sam Mink for the serve for the Patriots. Nice powerful serve and nice dig by the Cobras. Back row push 
That was unfortunately a double hit by the Cobras. My number one, Blake Diab. Patriots getting the point from that one with a score of now 13 to six with a pretty big lead on the Cobras compared to the other sets where the Cobras have stayed right close to the Patriots. Great serve, hyping up the Patriots side. Great hustle by number 20, Justin Graff, to free ball the ball over the net, but unfortunately goes out of bounds. Sam Mink coming up with another serve, helping the Patriots out. With a score of now 14 to six, Patriots still ahead. On the Cobra side, number four, Tommy Rambo, is going in as number one, Blake DM goes out. Great hustle by two of the Cobras. Then unfortunately they hit it into the ceiling, unable to return the ball. Number 21, Colin Palmer for the Cobras, really running to get that ball, able to keep it, being able to keep it up. For the Patriots side, Sam Mink with another serve. And he unfortunately hits it out of bounds, but had a great run, giving the Patriots many points. Cobra's getting another point as Colin Palmer comes up to serve. Substitution occurring as Blake Brown now comes in for number 20, Justin Graff. Nice dig by Micah Enzer. And great back row hit by Tony Petro. Nice free ball by number 12, Blake Brown for the Cobras. Great hustle by many of the Cobras with a little bit of miscommunication. Great hustle by Sam Mink as there was a little bit of miscommunication on the Patriots side as well. And number 23, Nick Sassenti unfortunately pushes the ball over the net, but it is a double, giving the Patriots a point. Great rally going there by both teams with some great plays on both sides. Michael Tamburino now coming up to serve for the Patriots as the score is 16 to seven. The Cobras with some great hustle. Noah Miller sets it to Tony Petro in the back row, giving the Cobras a point. Unfortunately, Tony is not able to get it back over the net. And now for the Cobras side, Gabe Schaefer will be serving. Score is 16 to eight, Patriots in the lead. Nice pancake by Tony Petro as there was miscommunication between the Patriots. Great hit by number 18, Reed Cook on the Cobra side. He could just do it. Although great effort by Tony there in that one play, Cobras ultimately get the point. Gabe Schaefer coming up with another serve. Score is 16 to nine. Cobras trying to close the gap that the Patriots have created. Nice serve by Gabe Schaefer. And nice aggressiveness at the net. Great hustle by the Patriots in an attempt to get the ball over the net, but the Cobras caught them off guard, tipping the ball into the middle of the court. Sam Mink goes for the ball on the Patriots side, but he is unable to keep it up into the air for his teammates to get. Gabe Schaefer served the ball into the net, giving the Patriots a point. Substitution on the Patriots side as Noah Milliron goes out and Garrett McNulty goes in. Garrett will be coming up to serve now with a score of 17 to 10. Patriots seven points ahead. Garrett McNulty familiar with the back row as he's a libero for most of the season. The Cobras are, have some miscommunication giving the Patriots a point nearing the end of the set. Score is 18 to 10, Patriots in the lead, nearing the end of the set. Great hit by the Cobas. Garrett McNulty sets it to Tony Pietro, and Tony Pietro has a great swing, but does not flick his wrist as much as he should, making the ball go out of bounds. Substitution on the Cobras side, as Jax Carl goes in for a number four, Tommy Rambo. Score is 18 to 11. Cobras once again trying to close the gap. A short serve by Ethan Wilkinson, catching the Patriots off guard, giving the Cobras an ace. Great serve there, able to trick the Patriots as they were not expecting it. Ethan coming up with another serve here. Great pass by Michael Tamburino and great tip by Garrett McNulty. The Patriots in great position for hits and tips. 
great hustle by number 21, Colin Palmer, for the Cobras. And a great hit by Luke Wentworth for the Patriots. Score is now 19 to 12. Substitution happening on the Patriots side as Mark Dent and Chuck Hafer go in, as Luke Wentworth and Sam Mink go out. Mark Dent will be coming up to serve now. Mark Dent has had very consecutive and consistent serves today. Miscommunication between some of the Cobras, giving the Patriots a point nearing the end of the set. The Patriots have really shown their true teamwork throughout this whole game. Nice hit by number 12, Blake Brown for the Patriots. Great hustle by Garrett McNulty. Great adjustment by Micah Enzer as he blocks the ball. And a great hit. And the Patriots get a point. Yig very hyped nearing the end of the set. Great rally right there, but the Patriots ultimately get the point. Nearing the end of the set, only four points away from the Patriots winning the game. Noah Milliron goes in as Garrett McNulty goes out. Another serve by Mark Dent. Micah Enzer with more great hustle for the Patriots. And the Patriots hit it into the ceiling, catching them off guard, giving the Cobras a point. Score is now 21 to 13, as the Patriots are still in the lead. Patriots honoring their seniors as they come off the court. Micah Enzer had a great game today as he leaves the court as Logan Trombley goes in for the Patriots. Kevin Peters with the serve for the Cobras. Tony Petro pushes it over the net. Number 18, Reed Cook for the Cobras with a great swing, but unfortunately goes out of bounds. Score now 22 to 13. Patriots very close to winning not only the set, but the game as a whole. Tony Petro with the serve. Great hustle using his feet for the Cobras. More great hustle by the Patriots to get the ball over the net. Great hustle by Mark Dent for the Patriots. And great hustle by Chuck Hafa as well, but unfortunately he stepped over the line in the center of the court. Both teams using their resources here to get their balls over the net as they both get their well-deserved points with the Cobras ultimately getting that one. Score of now 22 to 14, Patriots ahead. A great attempted hit by Noah Millarin with a little too much power there, but can be put to good use for the Patriots. Cobras looking for a comeback here as they trail 15 to 22. A little bit of miscommunication between the Patriots, but the Cobras ultimately get the point with a double hit by the Patriots. Reed Cook coming up for another serve now on the Cobra side. Max Snellenberg coming in as libero for the Patriots, adjusting to a new position. Great pass by Snellenberg. And great hit by Tony Petro, but unfortunately goes out of bounds. Substitution happening on the Patriots side right now as Noah Milliron goes out, as Alex Mink goes in. Once again, all the Patriots here are honoring their seniors as they leave the court for possibly their last time on this team. Max Soberg with a pass to Logan Trombley. And the Patriots with great communication. And Tony Petro with a back row hit. by number 18, Reed Cook, attempting to get the ball after it comes out of the ceilings. But ultimately, the Patriots get the point near the end of the set. Patriots are getting very excited here as the score is now 23 to 17, nearing the end of the set. Patriots continuing to honor all their seniors as Tony Pietro goes out. Jackson Coiner coming up for a serve now. Jackson Coiner also showing much improvement throughout the season. After he had to come up from JV after their previous setter graduated, Jackson has made a lot of improvement, and Coach Blair thinks that he will be a top player in the league in the next few years. 
Great spot by number 28, Chuck Hafer, for the Patriots, hitting it to the back corner of the court. Very exciting moment here as the score is now 24 to 17. This point could win it for the Patriots. Jackson Coiner hits it out of bounds, giving the Cobras a point. The Cobras attempting to come back into this game. Score is now 24 to 18. Patriots ahead, only one point away from winning the game. Number 23, Nick Sassenti, goes in for Ethan Wilkinson on the Cobras side. Tommy Rambo coming up for the serve for the Cobras. Great serve by Tommy Rambo. And Jackson Coiner sets it to Michael Tamburino. And it goes into the ceiling, giving the Patriots a point. And the Patriots win it on not only their senior night, but the last game. Final score, 3-0 as the Patriots beat the Cobras. We would like to thank executive producer, Principal Tom Durkin, for supporting this live stream. And Kayla Gerbis, Logan Skirmerhorn, and Mag Maggie Tauber for operating the camera. We would also like to thank fellow announcers, Travis Smith and Jacob Freeland, for their contributions to this live stream. Thank you for tuning in to our live stream today. Make sure to check out our next broadcast on Friday, November 1st, where our varsity football team takes on the Archbishop Curly Friars in Jerry Gray Stadium. We hope you enjoyed watching the battle between the Patriots and the Cobras. I am London Poist, and I am Alita Perosi, and we hope you have a great evening.